All right, people. Welcome to another episode of the Automotive Engineers Corner. Tonight we will talk about the project. What is a project? Let me introduce you the project. So the project as one as per one of many many definitions the project is a temporary organization that is created for the purpose of delivering one or more business products according to an agreed business case what do we learn from this definition the project is temporary <coughs> it's an it's a temporary um endeavor just to do something concrete concrete deliverables so it's temporary so it has a start a duration and an end it needs to provide some concrete de deliverables it's an organization, which means there is a team, especially, just basically, especially uh, built to this project to achieve concrete deliverables. Then, of course, at the project, we have some constraints. So we have some borders, constraints, some borders, uh, some resources that uh, we can use, some budget, so resources, budget, people, of course we have here, we can say man hours, we have the team, the people, for example, 10 people will do something, and then we have uh, some budget, we have some resources, we have some additional people who can do the job and uh, this thing, this, these things need to be managed by the team and uh, at the end, when the time is up, we should have concrete deliverables a deliverable could be a delivered car or start of production, it could be an element of the car Let's see, let's say a door. It could be a lament, an element of the door, for example, the handle. It can be a small part of the handle, for example, a small spring. This, this, this and this, everything is, can be realized if the project is established. What else is very important? At the project, this is the way we introduce the change. The change that's to some existing systems. Uh, we do it on the way of projects. So it starts and end. It, it has a start, it has a duration and it has an end. So at the end of a project, we should have any change. As well, a project is unique. That means you don't have, like a daily business is not a project. If you do, if you uh, do always uh, the same thing every day, like, uh, I don't know, sending a report every day from your production line, it's not a project, it's a daily business. But for example, running a production for a specific um, part or preparing a production preparing a production line for a specific part of a car. This would be a project and the outcome, the deliverable would be running production. Okay, um, to explain you on an example, if we have an, <clears throat> if you have an, if we have an OEM, original equipment manufacturer, which is a producer of the car. So we have the car. Beautiful. Uh, 
So this, this, what is a project? The project is, for example, model A, model B will be maybe the same car, but with a thing here. So like this is a station wagon and this is a, a limousine. So this will be a station wagon. This will be a limousine, but it's the same model or it's the same type of the car. Let's say it's a type one and we have two models. So each model can be a project. Of course, we can say type one, type two. And here we have three variants. This can be a big project and this could be some smaller projects. So this is the point. What could be a project of the car manufacturer? But then we have the tier two. Do you remember? Tier two, tier one, sorry, tier one. This will be the supplier of the component of the car. Let it be this door with the glass, with everything here. This door is supplied by another company. Yeah, okay, the shape of the door is completely, completely outdated. This fully equipped door with the glass, with everything here, with all the insides, uh, inside installations, with the handle, everything here is supplied by the tier one supplier. So here, the project, uh, the project um, name, for example, could be for this company, for tier one, the project number could be type one A door. Another project for this company would be type one B door plus whatever it could mean. So then, and maybe they have uh, they have some other uh, they have some other variants. Type one B variant one. So these projects that would mean they will deliver. So there will be there will be some teams of the people, and these teams of the people in this company in the tier one supplier, they will uh, establish the whole, these teams, they will establish the whole production line. They will establish all the supplier uh, chains. They will establish all the um, connections to the customer to deliver the specific door to the specific car. A project team, or a project manager, of course, they will make sure that they um, establish all the things that are needed to start to run a production and then continue the production and finish the production along the production of the car. So, for example, if this car is produced since 2020 till 2025, so the project is lasting this long so of course this project of the of the um, tier one uh, door supply will as well last as from 2020 to 2025 this needs to go together haha -ha, then we have of course the handle supplier this is tier two Tier two is the handle supplier, the door handle supplier. This door handle with all the installations inside, there are some springs inside, there are some screws inside, the small things. This needs to be a project at the tier two supplier. And here they need to do the same thing. They need to establish a, 
um, connection to the to this to their customer. So tier one, uh, the supplier tier one uh, supplier is then the customer of uh, tier two. They need to have the same duration of the project. They need to deliver as well some types, maybe type one. Maybe they have only one type of the uh, of the handle. Then they need to supply just uh, to all these projects. For them, it could it could be just handle. Maybe they supply the same things to another client, to another car. Who knows? But this supplier will have a project as well. It could be completely differently managed, but they need to comply with this supplier. They need to supply exactly this part. The part needs to be correct. The part needs to uh, function correctly. The part needs to be, this client needs to be happy and this client needs to be happy. And then we have uh, the tier number three. This guy is supplying the springs. And here we could have as well a project. But here, for example, this project is very, very, um, is as well unique. But for example, this project could be supplied to many, many clients. And actually they don't need to focus on the client. Maybe they just need to focus Maybe they just need to focus on the on the product to be normalized. And this normalized product can go to many, many, many different products and many, many different clients. So here, they will have as well a project. For them, the spring will be a project. But this project could last since 19... 95 and it can last till 20 30 and here the deliverable of this project will be just the production of these springs the continuous production of these springs okay that's it from today see you in the next chapter we will talk about another interesting things uh, from the automotive world. Thank you for watching. See you.